What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here. It's a little late for Halloween, but we've got the latest member of the Apollo scooter family, the Apollo Ghost. I'm gonna tell you what makes this an awesome, lightweight power scooter. Subscribe and let's ride. All right guys, let's open up the box and see what's inside. All right, let's open it up. So we've got some huge blocks of foam here. This thing is packed pretty well, pretty standard. Looks like we've got some nut caps. We've got a manual, the Apollo Ghost. In the box we have a 58.8, 1.7 amp charger. Looks like setup is pretty simple. We just have to install these handlebars. So let's take it off the table and get this installed real quick. All right, so the only thing we have to do is set up the handlebars here. We'll need a size four Allen key. So we just position this about upright so these grips are about where you want them to be. Just like that looks good. All right, so once these are on, all of these come loose to protect them in shipping. So we just need various Allen keys to tighten all these things up. So the keys come attached to this cord here and you just turn the key on, turn the display on. All right, looks like it's working. So we're gonna finish setting this handlebar up and then we're gonna take it out on a ride. All right guys, this is a dual motor scooter. It's running at 52 volts. Each motor is 800 watts. This is going to get you to a top speed of 34 miles per hour. The battery is a 52 volt system with 18.2 amp hours. This is going to get you to a stated range of about 39 miles. Real world range is probably going to be about 25 miles or so. We'll test that in the future. It's got really springy dual suspension. It really soaks up the bumps in the road. And you've got dual disc brakes which stop the scooter extremely quickly. In addition, it accelerates from zero to 15 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds and from zero to 25 in 5.3 seconds. This is gonna be faster than the Apollo Explorer and also faster than the Mercan wide wheel. So with all these features, the scooter weighs about 64 pounds or 29 kilograms. Not the lightest scooter, but still light enough that you could carry it up onto a bus or something if you need to. Additionally, Apollo also offers a really generous 12 months warranty, which is pretty good for electric vehicles. And now let's move on to our hill climb test at California Street. All right guys, we are at California Street, our classic hill climb test. So far, no single motor scooter has ever made it to the top and not even all dual motor scooters to make it up this hill. This might be one of the cheapest dual motor scooters to make it up California Street. Let's see if we can make it up. All right guys, we are beginning our hill climb test up California Street. There are three sections. This is the easiest, followed by a medium difficulty, followed by the hardest difficulty. And we can rock it up this easy one, no problem. All right, we made it to the top of the first part. Very easy. Let's see how we do on the second part. All right. Here we go. We're reading about 28 kilometers per hour, 29. Oh, we are accelerating up the second part. This is easy. This thing can conquer hills. Ah, oh, super easy. Let's keep going. Third section. A little head start there. Oh, we're slowing down a little bit. 27, 25 cars per hour, 24, 23. Oh, no problem for the Apollo Ghost. Easy. Let's just do the last section for Punzies. We make it all the way to the top of California Street. 
Not all scooters can do this. We are cruising. We're gonna do it. Oh yeah. This thing is totally fine for San Francisco Hills. We just conquered California Street, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Apollo Ghost. We just conquered California Street with the Apollo Ghost. This might be one of the cheapest scooters to ever make it up the street. That's pretty impressive. This thing is a hill climb champion. All right, let's get back to the review now. So let's get into some of the features of the Apollo Ghost. So we've got a nice mud guard mounted on the back here. Two mud guards actually. This rear plate will also act as a mud guard. We've got a 10 by three inch pneumatic tire here. On this side, we've got mechanical disc brakes. This is a really nice rear tail actually. You can prop your foot up on that and ride. It's super comfortable. You can probably do some wheelies also if you wanted to. This hook right here is gonna act as a handlebar lock. So your stem will come down and you can lift up very easily. Pretty standard kickstand. It's in the middle of the scooter, which is pretty nice. Should prevent it from falling over. You've got some grip tape and some stylish Apollo text on the deck. On this side, you've got two charge ports. Pretty cool, you should be able to use two chargers for a fast charge. Pretty stylish neck, you've got these holes cut out here. All these wires are zip tied to the neck here. Not the most stylish, but functional. And in the front, you've got the same style arm here with these coals cut out with another pretty stylish front mud guard there. That's pretty cool. I was still worried about some debris kind of coming up this way, but maybe it's good enough. We'll have to test that out. Coming up to the stem, you've got the standard folding clasp here. Pretty much every scooter uses this now. I am really not a fan of this folding clasp because you have to kind of take one out, take the other out, and you have to kind of alternate turns, tightening and loosening them. On the top here, you've got a pretty thick latching mechanism. This is gonna latch that rear hook. Let's go ahead and look at some of the handlebar features. Got some pretty nice grips here, pretty solid. Dinky little bell. Uh, you've got two brake levers, mechanical brakes, front and back. Standard key ignition, it's gonna show the voltage. On the right, you've got eco turbo buttons and single dual, so you've got four speed modes in conjunction with three different speed modes of the controller. This is the standard display, but it's branded Apollo, which is pretty cool. Besides that, you've just got this little thing here that twists, and then when you twist this open, you can collapse the handlebars. So it makes for a really compact package. Let me show you fold it down real quick. So fold it down, this just comes down, that latches, and it's pretty easy to carry. All right, so that's it for the features. Let's go take it out on a ride now and talk about the performance. All right, so now we're in eco mode. Let's see what we get. We're cruising at about 25 kilometers per hour. Pretty standard for eco mode, not bad. Let me kick it into turbo. So turbo, we got about 50 kilometers per hour. Not bad at all. All right guys, that's all we got for this episode on the Apollo Ghost. We're gonna ride around a bit more, but hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.